Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Wednesday, it's coffee day, and I'm excited to be here. Hopefully you are too. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It really means a lot to us. Um, go ahead and share that video with everybody too. Tell them, you know, hey, here's this guy reviewing coffee and bourbon and booze. And uh, that'd be, mean a lot to me. So today we're going to be looking at a coffee that you should be able to get just about anywhere, um, I would imagine. And I've actually seen this brand, not specifically this coffee, but this brand in um, overseas in Europe. So I would assume that it's widely available. And that is Community. Community Coffee. Now we have done an episode on Community before and that was our normal house blend. But this is their Dark and Bold Intense Blend. Dark and Bold Intense Blend. And so this is going to be something rather strong here. It is 100% Arabica beans. It is a very um, dark, rich roasted flavor. Um, they call it a bold, bold roast, um, but it's a rich roast or a dark roast. And it's probably their most intense dark roast. It is also um, a ground coffee. So this one's ground kind of a um, little bit more than coffee pot so you could probably use it in a mocha pot but not for espresso or anything like that um, hence why i said that you could probably get this in europe because of the grind it is um relatively moderate price about ten dollars for this uh 12 ounce bag so let's go ahead and take a look at this now there's no um Bones about it out complete transparency. I'm not a big community fan. The community um, roast uh, house one that we did, I, I thought it was okay. And unfortunately, community is what you get mostly in restaurants here in Texas. Hmm, sorry. Um, communities, Folgers, um, what else? Eight o'clock and probably Maxwell House are the big ones. Every once in a while you'll find a restaurant that does Starbucks, but not very often. Um, community is really probably the bigger brand that you will find in restaurants. So when you order a cup of coffee here in Texas, it's probably what you're going to get. And thus it's a restaurant that has its house blend. No idea why I just started yawning. I need some coffee. It's Wednesday. I got to go to work. So let's go ahead and get this started. It is a very dark, probably one of the darkest um, coffees I've seen can't really see through it and kind of matches the package there really black pretty intense coffee um, aroma mostly getting that nutty um, dark chocolatey aroma to it no real bitterness um, no caramel mostly just that nuttiness not even that earthy, but nutty. Pretty robust flavor. I actually like this coffee. Yeah, I actually do. This is a decent cup of coffee. Maybe that's my problem with Community is that um, their regular house blend, the kind you get in, in restaurants, isn't that rich in flavor. This is not bad. Yeah, um, no acidic, acidicness, so it completely gotten rid of any of that acidy bitterness from uh, roasted coffee. It is very um, rich, but not overly flavorful. So I'm not really getting the caramel or the chocolate. More that earthiness, that nuttiness that comes with coffee, but not that chocolatey caramel. But I think this would be a really good um, morning coffee. It doesn't really give a caffeine level, which I really wish coffees would. Um, some craft coffees will give caffeine levels, you know, like, I don't know, probably the one you can see in grocery stores a lot is Death Wish. Oh, wow. But it would be really nice if um, it gave a caffeine level. It says a rich roasted flavor with a smooth, deep finish. Hmm. 
Not really. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Savor the flavors created with this expert blend of Central and South American coffees. The tropical climate and high evol evolution produce a deep, fragrant aroma and intense taste. I, I don't think it's that intense. I think it's good. It's better than regular community, but not that intense. And the aroma is pretty nice, but I think it could be a little bit more intense with that chocolate and caramel. But overall, I think this is a pretty good um, thumbs up on coffee. I think I would add a little bit more um, scoops. I, th I normally do three and a half to four scoops for my pot. 12 cup pot. I think I would probably do four to five. It says two heaping tablespoons of ground coffee to eight, six ounces of flavored or filtered water. Sorry. Um, so two t heaping tablespoons to six ounces. Yeah, this is probably going to be a five or six um, scoop, not tablespoons of coffee. Oh no! Tell us what you think about community in general. But this dark and robust. What's your favorite community? What's your favorite dark? Um, coffee uh, can't really say what mine is I've been really impressed with the uh, mashups we you can check some of those up those are pretty good um, the chameleon is pretty good um, fold your silk that's pretty good that's their dark so tell us what you think about communities dark roast uh, what's your favorite um, you know really dark coffee um, make sure you, I am not ready for work. Make sure you check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday. Uh, we are, um, having a good scotch tomorrow. So check that out. And then Cody and I have a very interesting, um, warm weather coffee, um, cocktail type of thingy. Should have probably done this coffee, but, uh, we didn't, uh, We've already filmed that because we're running into the weekend and the holiday and beginning to do holiday shopping and getting ready for Thanksgiving. And so, and so we filmed that one a little bit earlier, um, but look forward to that. And then uh, have a great weekend and holiday, but we'll see you tomorrow for a whiskey. Oh, check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and merchandise. Cheers.